30 seconds. It's how long it takes to wash your hands, stop at a red light, sing happy birthday. It's not much time to communicate who you are, what you're about, and why voters should elect you. So before you hire a media firm to tell your story, here's the 30 seconds on us. In 2007, Peter Carey, Jennifer Burton, and Maura Doherty formed Envision Communications. Since then, we've helped elect more new members to Congress than any other media consulting firm. We pride ourselves on the time and attention we put into each race, from TV and radio spots to web ads and Google Blasts. We devise strategy and craft ads that throw our opponents off track, get the media's attention, and most importantly, win. Envision a firm that's accessible, affable, and affordable. We did. Need to get Congress's attention armed with only a surplus of cute kids and a toy car? There's an ad for that. Maybe Congress will listen to us. If I was a Wall Street banker, or a car company CEO, or the head of a giant drug company. Hey Congress, we may be just kids, but right now we need help too. Our school days are being cut. So is art, music, and PE. Our teachers are being laid off. So our classrooms are more crowded than ever. So Congress, who do I have to be? To get your attention. Call Congress and tell them to pass the Education Jobs Fund, because it's time to speak up for education and kids. Need to show the folks at home that you haven't gone Washington on them? We've got an ad for that. If you said Martin Heinrich seems like a man in a hurry, you'd be right. He's in a hurry to get things back on track for New Mexico. Martin's been home 82 of the 85 weeks he's served in Congress. He and his staff have helped over 1,800 people get things like veterans benefits and social security assistance. Martin's held over 350 constituent meetings. He's helped small businesses get the credit they need to hire more workers. And he's fought to save 1,000 jobs at Kirtland Air Force Base. Martin Heinrich, all New Mexico, all the time. I'm Martin Heinrich and I approve this message. Need to pack a punch and make it stick without a backlash? And there's an ad for that. I thought I knew who Nikki Haley was. But all these recent news reports. And we wonder who she really is. I thought she was an outsider. But then I heard she was handpicked by Mark Sanford. She says she's for transparency. But Nikki Haley hid a $40,000 contract that she got because of her connections. She claims to be a fiscal conservative. But she wants to put a tax on our groceries. Nikki Haley boasts about her accounting skills. But she got fined for failing to pay her own taxes. Makes me think that Nikki Haley isn't who she says she is. Need to undercut your opponent's much-hyped business success and the rationale for his candidacy with one devastating ad? There's an ad for that. You've heard the old saying, buyer beware. So beware of dishonest used car salesman Tom Ganley. Ganley's been sued over 400 times for fraud, discrimination, and more. Lying to customers about repairs, overcharging them, even endangering them. A judge called Tom Ganley's business practices, quote, deceptive and unconscionable. And now Tom Ganley wants to represent us in Congress. Voters beware. I'm Betty Sutton, and I approve this message. Want to spare people of the same old newspaper endorsement ads? We've got an ad for that. Chris Dudley has spent millions on his ads, but money can't buy the truth. The Oregonian calls Chris Dudley inexperienced, said he pitched expensive new ideas without identifying a dime to pay for them, and Dudley hasn't made a persuasive case. The issues facing us require hard choices, innovative responses, and the guts to say no. They demand that voters choose a governor fully prepared, ready now, not later, to lead Oregon forward. The Oregonian endorses John Kitzhaber for governor. Need to show you're in touch using your location as well as your words. And there's an ad for that. Congress doesn't seem to know right from wrong, but we do. It's not right when big insurance companies write health care laws and millions can't afford to see a doctor. It's not right when big oil companies write energy laws and gas prices skyrocket. It's not right when Congress passes trade bills that send our jobs overseas. Congress won't change until we change the people we're sending to Washington. I'm Heath Schuler, and I approve this message. Have footage of your opponent that proves your point better than any script that could be written? We've got an ad for that. If we light our way with whatever is true, whatever is honest, I'm surrounding myself with women and men of integrity, character, 
That is how to create an ethical government. We will restore hope. Need to get seniors' attention on the issue they care most about? There's an ad for that. Tim Wahlberg. If you think you're going to privatize Social Security... You're going to have to go through me. And me. And me. Here's what you don't get, Mr. Wahlberg. We live on our Social Security. We paid into it for more than 50 years. And we depend on it every day. So when you call Social Security worthless, Mr. Wahlberg... And a Ponzi scheme? And say you want to privatize our Social Security, Mr. Wahlberg... You're going to have to answer to us. I'm Mark Schauer, and I approve this message. Need to explain a dull subject statewide against the crush of thousands of other ads? There's an ad for that. We don't let foxes guard hen houses or let bank robbers protect banks, but we let politicians draw their own district lines. Year after year, politicians get reelected, protected by district lines they've drawn up in backroom deals. Amendments 5 and 6 will create strict rules so politicians can't draw districts that favor themselves. 5 and 6 give power back to the people. That's why every major newspaper in the state is supporting them. Draw the line against self-serving politicians. Vote yes on 5 and 6.